In the seven years I've been on YouTube, I've learned that putting celebrities in your thumbnails is a proven way to get more views. But most AI image generators have restrictions, meaning they won't create images of celebrities. So I found an awesome new AI image generator that has no problem with creating celebrities. So if you really wanted, you could create a half demon Donald Trump standing in front of a burning American flag like I have here. You can see here, the image generator was trained by exclusively studying viral YouTube thumbnails. So its solo focus is to generate eye-catching thumbnail images like this for you from your text prompts. It will write text into the images that it generates, which is amazing because most image generators don't do that. You can insert your face into any thumbnail that it generates for you. And it will even create replicates of existing viral thumbnails, which is another proven strategy for getting views on YouTube. Having all these things in your thumbnails is essential if you're going to compete with other YouTubers. So in this video, I'll show you what the image generator is and give a step-by-step -step walkthrough that anyone can follow on how to do each of these things inside the tool. Okay, so we'll start with how to create an image using a text prompt, and we'll make sure that there's a celebrity included in there too. Thumbnails like this with celebrities in them get views because viewers click on faces that they recognize. So here's the AI image generator that you're going to use to create viral thumbnails just like that. It's called Pixels, you'll see the name up here. And there's a link to it along with a 50% off discount code in the description to this video. But stick around to learn how to use Pixels first before you click that link and leave because Pixels can be hard to use when you're first getting started. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to approach prompting Pixels to get the images you want right now. So now I'm inside Pixels. You can see I've been messing around and creating some images of Joe Biden recently. And this tool is just amazing. I never would have been able to create images like this before using it. And when you're in Pixels like this, what you need to do here is you need to type in a text prompt to get Pixels to generate the image that you want. And you do that by first typing slash down here and selecting thumbnail because that's what you want to create. And next, typing in your prompt in this box that comes up. So here's the prompt I use to create that Donald Trump thumbnail. I'll just generate that now and then break down everything that's needed in your prompt to get the end image that you want. So now that's done. If we click this image that was added, we can see the completely newly generated first version of our Donald Trump thumbnail. Looks pretty creepy. And if we click off that to close it, and if we're not happy with that, we can just press redo here a couple of times to take a couple more versions that we can choose between. So we'll just wait for those next three to generate. And here we go. If we scroll up, we can see that we have four new versions of this thumbnail idea in just 60 seconds that we can choose between. I think this one here is my favorite. And we'll take a look at the prompt that was used to generate this thumbnail now so that you can understand everything that you need to include in your prompt to get the exact thumbnail image that you want. So here's what I asked for. A bright, low contrast image of Donald Trump stood in front of an American flag. Donald Trump has a disturbing, menacing grin on his face. Half of Donald Trump's face is that of a red horned demon. The demon has a yellow eye and fangs. The flag should be burning. Great, so first you'll notice that I asked for a bright, low contrast image. I found that you need to specify the lighting that you want in your image because, for example, sometimes you can get an image that is way darker or has more shadows than what you're after. Next, you'll see here that I've typed Donald Trump out once, twice, three times in this prompt. You need to clearly state the people that you want in your image. And I found that including their names a few times is better than just once. Next, you can see I said that he should be stood in front of the American flag. And I even specified the flag should be burning. So stating what environment that you want your image to be created within is so important. But actually, a lot of people forget to do this. So don't miss out the environment. I wrote that Donald should have a disturbing and menacing grin on his face. And that's because I've learned you need to include the emotions that you want your characters to have into pixels when you're typing out your prompt. So don't forget emotions. 
And finally, you can see I asked for a red horned demon with a yellow eye. Telling pixels the exact colors you want in your thumbnails is the final thing to remember to include in your prompt, as well as all those other factors to guarantee you get the exact type of image that you want from the image generator. So now you know exactly how to prompt pixels to generate a thumbnail image like this, but you're probably remembering that it can also add text into images. And you're probably wondering how to do that. So here's how to add text into your thumbnails too. Just looking at the YouTube homepage now, you can see that all of the thumbnails on adverts over here on the right have text in them. Text just like this captures viewer attention because it creates curiosity. So it's so important that our image generator is able to include text in our thumbnails. So back in pixels, here's a thumbnail that I've just created with this text world's largest up here at the top. And let's look at the prompt that I use to make this thumbnail so you can see exactly how to add text in your images too. So we can see the prompt here and most of the start of the prompt is the typical stuff. So location, colors, but it's this last part here we need to look at for inserting text. So you can see that I wrote at the top of the image, there is text that says world's largest. The text is in bold font, white, and has a drop shadow to separate it from the blue sky. So a few things to absorb there. First, I said I wanted my text at the top of the image, so it's important to tell pixels where you want your text. Next, I said exactly what the text should say, and everything that I wanted written, I inserted inside speech marks there. So just make sure to include speech marks. And after that, I said I wanted the text to be in a bold font, white, with a drop shadow. So just make sure to include how thick you want your font, the color that you want your font in, and whether you want your font to have a shadow or not. And if you do all of those things within less than 60 seconds, you'll have a thumbnail like this with text in it, which is something I never could have made myself. I would have had to have paid a graphic designer to make something like this for me before finding a tool like this. So it's pretty great. But thumbnails of roller coasters and celebrities are awesome. But sometimes you want your face in a thumbnail. Say, for example, if you're making videos about you. So let's look at how you can swap your face into any image that Pixels generates for you. So here's an image inside Pixels that I want to add my face into. And to add my face, we need to use the Pixels face swap feature. So let's do that now. So to use face swap, we simply press slash again, and then we choose face swap from the list. And now we need to upload the thumbnail that we want our face added to, and then also upload an image of our face to be put into that thumbnail. So I'll do that now. Great, so now we have the thumbnail and the picture of my face that I want to be put in there. I'm just gonna click in this box here and press enter. We'll see here Pixels is swapping the face out, so we just need to wait for that to finish. And there we have it in like 20 seconds, my face has been put into that thumbnail. This would have taken me hours to learn how to switch out faces myself in an application like Photoshop. So massive time saver using this image generator for things like this. And lastly, we need to look at how to copy viral thumbnails from YouTube for your own thumbnails. It's no secret that taking inspiration from thumbnails that are already viral is a proven way to get more clicks on your own thumbnails. So now you've already learned how to create original thumbnails from scratch. It's time to learn how to use pixels to copy those viral thumbnails. Just to remind you, the link to thumbnails is in the description to this video, along with a code on how to get 50% off using it and how to copy viral thumbnails. I've covered that already in this video here. So definitely watch that next because you can get a ton of views from taking inspiration from viral thumbnails. It's the step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to do that in Pixels. So click the link below, get set up on Pixels and watch this video next. Cool, peace out.